Hey there, fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today we're gonna to talk about grassroots marketing. And, and when people talk about a grassroots effort, it's 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 from the ground up, right? It's like, it's grown naturally. And, and that's what you're looking at grassroots marketing. It is grown naturally through your customers. They're the ones that are helping promote you. They're the ones help building you up because you've had such a good relationship with them. And what we're looking to really do with grassroots marketing is really to build a lasting relationship with a specific community, okay? It could be our community we live in, or it could be our community of clients and customers and users. There's a lot of different groups we could be trying to build that community with, but that's what we're trying to do. And, and by doing that, we really build up brand enthusiasts, advocates for our brand. They really believe in us. They're the ones that say, look, I don't care what you say. You, you have your In-N-Out burger. You have your Whataburger. For me, Culver's all the way, baby. You have these kind of things because you've developed a really good relationship with them and they're promoting you. And, and that's why when you're looking at grassroots marketing, you really want to go for kind of a, a feel good situation, a feel good story. All right. So you want to make it memorable for them. You want to make them feel good about it because that motivates people to want to go with the game. Cause like, oh, that was really nice of them. For example, Culver's. The chief marketing officer of Culver's and the local owners of Culver's here and my buddies, a general manager of the Culver's that I always go to, came to my class one day. It was class of like 600 students. They came 8 a.m. They come in. Dude's wearing the, 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 <laughs> he's wearing the, the scoopy, the, Okay, their their mascot Scoopy. It's a scoop of custard in a cone. And Scoopy comes out and, and the, CV, C, the, the VP of marketing comes out. I'm like, Julie, what the heck? I mean, it was like, it was crazy, but it was such a good thing. They're like, yeah, we were on campus because the, the VP of marketing is actually an alum from the university I teach at. And, and they, they came in and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, it was so cool. And it was just you're like, oh, we were on campus. We know you're a big fan. We thought we'd stop by. And it was like, that is so awesome. And then they gave out 50 free meals to my students. I'm like, awesome. And I talked to the general manager later and he's like, yeah, like the next two days we were flooded with your students coming in and they came back. I'm like, that's so cool. But it's that feel good part of grassroots marketing that makes a difference. So you really want to kind of think about what we're doing to do good in our community or what you could be doing. Okay. So make sure you're trying to get people involved with this because if you get people involved. It's, it's like you're working with them and it's like, you're not working with a company, you're working with a friend. You really identify with that brand. And so think about what's going to make people feel good. Like what makes students feel good? 8 a.m. class. Oh my gosh. A real business executive, a VP of marketing from one of the biggest fast food chains in the U.S. is here to say hi to us. This is awesome. And think about college students, free food, <laughs> mind blown, right? And so you kind of think about that. These things really work. Another example here, the campus I work at, uh, their local Jimmy John's used to walk around campus and they would just hand out free sandwiches. Like I remember back in the day on Fridays, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to get lunch. I'm just going to walk around downtown and hopefully I'll bump into one of those Jimmy John's people because they would just give out free sandwiches. And so what you're seeing is like, look, we're giving out free sandwiches, but we're also giving out free goodwill. Okay. And that's what you want to do with your grassroots marketing. Because if you want to do really well with grassroots marketing, what you have to realize it can't be a one-off thing. It's got to be free. It's got to be enough that people notice it. Like Jimmy John's did enough times that people knew, oh, hey, even if you didn't get one of the sandwiches, you're like, oh, that's cool. Jimmy John's is giving out some sandwiches. Culver's, you know, they, they do enough nice stuff in the community to give back. You're like, oh, that's really cool of you. I know my, uh, my back of my hometown, Refreshment Services Pepsi, they help donate all kinds of stuff and have put, you know, put together all these, you know, sports parks around town trying to help out. And they're doing this again and again and again to help out the community. And that's the thing. It's got to be frequent. Because you just do it once, people are like, oh, are you just doing this to like look good this one time, but you're not going to do it forever? That's how you get people to really believe, man, they do this all the time. They're nice all the time. That gets people to really support you. I mean, you go on Facebook, you'll see tons of Wisconsin, you know, Culver's lovers, you know, enthusiast groups. You'll see these things out there. So remember, you got to be frequent with this grassroots, this, this good feeling kind of stuff. All right. Because by doing it frequently, it really shows that you're there, that you're part of the community, okay? So another thing you have to think about in terms of this grassroots market is things you do, it needs to be free, okay? It, it didn't cost anything for that, that 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 marketing VP to come to my classroom and give stuff out and give out free meals. It doesn't didn't I mean it costed them because of meals, but you know it didn't cost anything for my students to get those sandwiches from Jimmy John's. You're doing these things and realize that look, grassroots marketing. If you're doing these things, it's free for the people that are taking part. You're not charging them for it because once you're charging for it, it's not grassroots marketing. You're, it's a service, right? And so you want to be thinking about that. And and the thing is, is all the stuff you free stuff you're giving out, all the things you're doing, it can't just be 
free. It's also got to deliver on something. You're, you think about it. You're like, I'm giving out this free Jimmy John sandwich to whet your appetite to come get more Jimmy John's. I'm giving this free meal at Culver's to get you to try it. So then you'll come back to Culver's the next time you're driving on the highway. You know, and, and so we have to think about that. And we really have to make sure is the things we're trying to get people to really support and have that grassroots movement for, it's really got to deliver. Okay. I mean, refreshment services, Pepsi in Quincy, Illinois, they deliver cold soda, refreshing soda, all those sports events they go to, they do that, right? And they're helping support it. The Culver's, my goodness, that double butter burger cheese. Thank you very much with some cheese curds and the root beer, just saying, delivers every time, right? And you get it free too, oh my gosh. You have these experiences that happen, okay? So I want you to kind of think about that if you're gonna be doing, trying to develop really supportive brand advocates so they can be the grassroots movement, the grassroots marketing of your product, because these kind of people, they're the ones that are gonna be promoting your product to their friends. They're the ones that are gonna be supporting you online when there's trolls and stuff like that. Like, I love Culver's! They're gonna be out there saying those things. They're gonna be making videos to their classes that they share and talk about Culver's, right? And so you kind of see these things happening. That's what grassroots marketing is, okay? And the thing is, is sometimes people try to fake it and that's called AstroTurf marketing, but we have another video for that. So I would check out that video next to get the uh, good and the bad side of this kind of, you know, marketing from, from down, you know, from the, from the earth coming up. Bye.